since moving into this online stage of play, right? Both at the road to Rio and in the Pro League, pretty lackluster performances from Na'Vi, getting knocked out of the playoffs of the CIS, uh, sorry, not even reaching the playoffs of the CIS road to Rio. Uh, so, yeah, definitely been a kind of tumultuous start f uh, to the year for Na'Vi, a team that looked like they were going to get off to a really uh -oh. hot start. A full ramp stack for Na'Vi with four. Vitality are rushing at A by the looks of things. It's not really a rush because they're holding, but if Zywoo gets a chance, he might just burst out here. And uh, Na'Vi's stack on the ramp could get completely unearthed. There's no kit for Na'Vi. The U2 will be nice, but look at the smokes. Vitality, they've done their homework. They've got a full execute into this A bomb site. Main is Smevin. Uh, Smevin? Main and Heaven smoked off. <laughs> and Vitality. First, first cast of the day, Harry. First round of the day. Vitality, they're going to get a bomb plant here. Full retake with no kit. That is not where Na'Vi want to be at all. But got to make do with what you've got. Coming in from the hell side, we've got players wrapping main. That's electronic. RPK close, and Boomish is setting up the flash. There it is. Boomish flashing on through. Perfecto going to try and take the peak. Good luck. And, well, try. Ooh. Oh, Masuta. Nice little uh, double up there. And look at this, man. Electronic, they're just all hugging each other in this site. You can't do anything to break this bond apart. And Team Vitality, they're going to find the pistol round. Pretty dominantly so. Now, you know, I, I don't think that's like the major side of things to come. Pistol, car, pistol rounds are always kind of wild card rounds. And obviously, when you've stacked four players at ramp and you go for the upper hit, you would imagine that's going to be successful yeah. nine times out of ten. I like the idea though, Na'Vi trying to read Vitality already, but you know Vitality would have been working hard as of late, right? Like putting in some time into their play, fitting Mizuta into this roster. He looked like he, he, you know, kind of fit in really well when he initially joined with limited practice. So I can't imagine how things are going to be with practice for Vitality. Hopefully a lot more positive. Simple on the scout here. We've got a force buy for Na'Vi. Two scouts, three deegs. But Vitality have actually gone right past this setup and headed towards Secret, where only Perfecto sits. He can give information ahead of time here. And if he gets a kill and can fall off, that could really set Na'Vi up for a round. It's actually going to fall off early, go for the jump spot, play for just information safely. But that just allows Vitality more passageway into the B-bomb site and less pressure from Perfecto. So here come Vitality. They're actually going to go this way as well. They molly the stairs. So Perfecto needs to sprint into that B-bomb site, hold onto it on his own, but he's going to get pressured. Perfecto's old deadly deagle. Can he get anything done with it? Flamey card. He got bested almost immediately over towards the ramp. Perfecto. Ooh. Oh, nice. Wait. As they peek him from the doors, Iwu just taps down simple like it's casual. Like. Back 10, by the way. Yeah. Like that's normal. And now just Boomich and Electronic left up. This is, uh, this is really where. Team Vitality, you're going to look to find this conversion. And that's a pretty good sign. You know, not letting these uh, these four sport players upset the grains. Iwu with three. He gets them all on the Mac 10 as well, which gets him a cool $1,800. Doesn't matter what gun this guy has, Harry. It just doesn't seem to be stopping. Look at this second kill here. Look at this. What? 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 <laughs> you don't even see simple. By the way, that's the best player in the world on the other side. Zywoo makes him look like mincemeat. And uh, now Na'Vi, they need to chow down on this eco round. It's going to be a third for Vitality, unless Na'Vi can pull out something ridiculous. Boomich on a Zeus. Always a fan of Zeus's on nukes. Uh, uh, there's so many places you can play that. I love pushing the hut, just sitting inside it. And that's exactly what Boomish is going for as well. He's actually dropped vent side. So playing towards B here. This also works. Vitality are running the gauntlet. That's Shoxy already in this lower area. Boomish, nice stuff. Gets a free Mac 10, stops Vitality in their tracks. But there's no other players running right past those outside smokes. Instead, they're splitting mini Apex using his Glock. And it's working well. Zywoo gets one. Boomish coming up the vents. If he could pop up here at the right time, he could really put a stop to Vitality's round. But they know he's in position, and Perfecto's trying to hold the back of the site. One kill with his PZ-50 would mean the world for Na'Vi in this A-site defense, and that is the shot. Perfecto, no more than one, but that might just be enough for Na'Vi to win this round. Vitality still favored. They're going to move and try and chase kills. They could even drop B through the vents as well, hunting towards hell. Na'Vi just sneaking back, not giving a fight the way Vitality. They finally kill one. Are they ready for Boomich? The smoke is down, and Boomich opts to go elsewhere. Yeah, he's going to try and come in with this heaven rotation, is Mr. Boomich. Holding on to the Mac 10. You know, definitely not like not like the most ideal route for him. 
And not one that we're going to see him pick on up. I really like the way that Vitality played that two and two in, in hunting the kills. Uh, you know, only in this example, right, in this specific round, because it was an eco and they knew it, right? They knew there was armorless USPs on the other side. So instead of like going for a plant in the two on two and risking, you know, Navi double peeking you, stopping the bomb plants, or putting one of your players in a clutch, they just hunt down one and they kill him and they make it two on one. And there it's easy to cover that plant, far safer for, for Vitality. Obviously, that would be risky to do on a rifle round, but that was not a rifle round. Now, now it is, Na'Vi, full investment, simple on the AWP as well. And we've got a quick main smoke for Vitality, cutting out Electronic, but nothing is done behind it. There's still Perfecto in Rafters watching onto the door. So Vitality just trying to get utility out of Na'Vi, but Na'Vi aren't biting, they aren't budging. Three Molotovs still left, two smokes as well. So things are okay right now for Na'Vi, but Vitality are going to go back to spawn to set up those outside smokes. Simple looking over here outside. The simple Zywoo fight is the one that we're all waiting for. You know, let's just address the elephant in the room, okay? I can't wait to see who's going to be coming on top, uh, out on top out of these two teams. Uh, and these two players, rather. Man, it really is the first cast of the day. I'm getting those vibes as well. But Boomich here, man, he's an early, uh, early bird. And he's getting all the worms right now <laughs> up at this A bomb site. He shuts down three. Shock's left up in the clutch and simple. Gonna deal with it. A nice round there from Boomich to put the first on the board for Na'Vi. As he really does it all inside of this A bomb site. Getting pressured from May, Thor, Hut. Now, these peaks were like kind of one at a time. So Boomich was allowed to yeah. isolate them into like a series of 1v1s. But that was only because he had his teammates elsewhere on the map, kind of slowing down the rate at which they can get in. Worth. Hut guy was having to fight a dude on rafters. Sorry, you guys. No, how are you talking? I'm the one interrupting you, man. I was just going to say, worth noting, the first player through main was flashed by a secret player. I think that was Zai Wu, And the T got full whited by his teammate's flash. Not, not like, blaming anyone, just stating how it is. And so that certainly doesn't help on the A side rush, but this one is a lot better. No flashes needed. But, uh, Vitality just taking dry fight out the hut, out the door, and in the face of Na'Vi. Four on two immediately. Flamey could try and get it on this flank, but he's missed his shot. He's missed his chance. And with that kill going the way of Mizuta, Electronic might just be best saving in this one. A one on four that was not meant to be for Na'Vi. Vitality. They're already setting a real precedent in this game that they want to abuse that top site. I mean, from the pistol, smoking heaven and main and having a full execute into A, that was an example of it for Vitality. But now they're going back to it, Harry. And Na'Vi are definitely getting these solutions here. Especially considering, you know, now that we know Vitality like to do this a lot uh, in this game, you know, Na'Vi need to be careful with those B rotations. When they see those outside smokes, when Shox runs the gauntlet behind down towards Secret, he's trying to bait players in for Na'Vi to go towards B often so Vitality can hit that top site. So stuff like that are things that Na'Vi need to be very aware of and, and can't afford to fall for in this CT side, especially considering they're 4-1 down to begin the map. Warming into things. See, one thing like I, I sometimes wonder is like, you know, you know how like players and teams always talk about the divide between like online and LAN? Yeah. I imagine it's hard to like transfer the, and then this is like some of the problem is like transferring the LAN environment into how you play online. But I'm imagining like any, actually wait, let's just take a look at this. Electronic was about to do something sick, nothing happened. So yeah. I want to know your point, I was going to say, right, so surely like in the same way that, that you can't really like transfer your LAN stuff to online or like it's hard to make that translation. Yeah. And that's why I think we see teams like Na'Vi struggle. In my eyes, like any bad habits you pick up through online play are surely still going to be seeping into your LAN performances when all that gets going again, right? Uh, it's so... a cool uh, idea, but I, what, what kind of what kind of uh, bad habits do you mean? I feel like the big difference between online yeah, and LAN is more the pressure, the, opponents, the, the, right? the, the, like, this whole the connection situation. to the server. Yeah. yeah, I think there's more to it uh, like, it, you know, then maybe even like psychologically than there is physically, right? But yeah, I, I don't know. It's a good, it's a good question to ask. Either way, we did a yeah, <laughs> no answers. Answering. Maybe we can maybe we can get it in a post game interview. Who knows? I mean, that's the thing. It's so hard to put your finger on the pulse of oh, what is the difference? A lot of the time, the results just are different, and 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 that's a reality there. So. You know, a few factors can make a hell of a lot of difference. Boomich, though, he's leaving B, Harry, and not at the most opportune time. Na'Vi, don't realize, but Vitality are about to make their way into B. 
Sipples here though. AWP watching the windows. Sai Wu already removed from the round. Simple with a kill. And this is a big force for Na'Vi where they didn't really have a lot going for them. With a couple of pistols and an AWP, Na'Vi have made this one interesting. RPK hitting A and Shocks can come up the vents, but they've already spotted the man at the back of the site. He's trying to stall. Perfecto taking as long as he can and swings out wide for a frag. Can't double it. Shocks with a chance to pump, but Boomer says no. And Na'Vi find two. All the guns saved, and that's a very good force for Na'Vi. I'm already liking uh, what we're seeing from Boomich a lot more, like in, in particular than what we saw from him in the Road to Rio in the CIS division. It felt like he was like always trying to kind of like push and prod, and sometimes a little too much. Whereas right now oh. he's playing nice and reserved, and it's showing in his scoreline. He's been anchoring down over at this A site. In this round, Electronics opened up with a little sneaky double. Now, while all that did go down and they did get the kills, to make matters kind of worse for Vitality, the bomb did get down then. No one else did, though. And uh, that bomb is now down towards the B site as a result. A little bit of a problem. They've got to oh. try and deal with it. And Zai Wu gets annihilated, jumping across outside. It's all left onto Masuta. And he does deal with Perfecto. His task is just beginning. It's not going to happen. This time, it's Electronic stepping up with three. Joining Boomich in that little... Uh, Kind of grace period over at this A bomb site where both of them are finding this success. And now there's no money left for Vitality. So this is a good chance for Na'Vi to start to equalize things up early on. Yeah, definitely needs to get control, right? This is, uh, you know, Vitality's map pick, but one that Na'Vi are not going to be feared uh, or fearing Vitality on, right? Like, this is a great map for them back in Katowice. This is one that Na'Vi certainly know what they're doing on. And I would say that that's the case really for this entire map pool in, in terms of, you know, the second map being Dust, but that being Na'Vi's pick, despite that Vitality love Dust, it's kind of a, an interesting map pool in that sense. But you would still like to think Na'Vi are favored regardless of the map, just due to the caliber of these players. But Vitality right now in this eco is just going to get mopped up. 4-4, the scoreline hits Harry, the moment of truth, and Vitality come back in with guns. This is for the lead right now, this round. And no AWP on Zywoo yet to be found. It's just not been the money there for Vitality in this game. So maybe we'll see it later on. Wow, these outside smokes going to get lined on up by Team Vitality. These are the uh, deeper ones that only allow for the cross to secret. Get throwing on in. So Team Vitality sneaking on by, simple, doesn't see anything, there's no gaps in those smokes, so no info here for Na'Vi, but they have already preemptively rotated Boomich down to uh, down to this lower bomb site. However, will he be ready for quite how many players reside on the other side here for Vitality? That flash goes over, buys him a bit of time, he gets some information that players are coming his way. He's heard quite a lot now, so we might see a rotation here from Simple at Ramps who posted up. Him and Flamey have traded places to allow for this man to come on down into the site. So Simple is here. Boomich, ready, waiting to go. Deals with Masuta on that first peak. And now Simple trying to play in tandem with his, uh, with his leader inside of the site. Just holding this crossfire. Vitality, they're still here. They're still trying to make this play happen. They've taken really every avenue of approach. They've, do they've got decon. They've got double door. They've even got the window. So they can come at this from all angles. They deal with Boomich. Apex follows up onto Simple. And we're into this three on three. What was initially looking good for Na'Vi. Now could be a Vitality round. But with 10 seconds, this bomb's oh, going to go down. Oh, dear. And it's not in a position to get denied by Flamey. But that nade could deal with shocks. It brings it down and finishes off the job. Zai Wu left in the 1v3 doing the damage. And oh, now down to the 1v1. Perfecto. The only man left, but coming in late through ramp. And Zaiwu is not ready for it. Gonna grab the AWP and the kit. 
He'll uh, get this defuse off, but Na'Vi going to take the lead now. It's very clear that Na'Vi done a lot of work in their CT setup on this map. It, it, everything looks different right now. Not everything, but at least their B rotations. Na'Vi are, are, are very common to have, you know, someone like Boomich in the secret, just holding on, playing that close secret position, dropping smokes and taking fights. Well, right now, all we're seeing from Na'Vi in terms of B play is, you know, when Vitality get control of the secret, they move Boomich or, or, or anyone rather down towards B, jump spotting that decomposition and playing their then, when they get the info inside of the B bomb site, they never fight for secret control. They're giving secret control to Vitality because that tempts them into going for B. Off the back of that, Na'Vi rotate three players down towards the lower site. That being simple, the orb that's typically in heaven or hell, Flamey, the ramp player, and they leave Electronic back towards Garage and Perfecto on that top site. So Na'Vi, they have three players on B, but they still have enough of, uh, enough of a setup on that top site. The Vitality, if they rotate, they go up vents, they back out secret, there's going to be info for Na'Vi. They're going to be able to stop it. So actually really like the way they're playing secret right now rather than just you know trying to force fights inside a secret and slow down vitality they're saying you want b come b we're all here and vitality they've fallen for it multiple times now navi's shutting them down on the lower bomb site happy birthday to shocks as well i think i did just catch that so let's see if he can find results on his birthday today yeah it is his birthday today hugo It's not going to be, you know, an easy one though, Harry. It's going to have to work hard to get the results here. And, you know, Boomich, he's been a player, Harry. We've talked about a lot uh, on the CT side of Boomich, especially in the R2R and Pro League. A lot of the times he just wouldn't really be playing safe. He would be, you know, committing to fights and, and dying in positions where he didn't need to die, often giving away advantages for Na'Vi. And I think that's one of the big problems. He's not doing that today. He's not doing that in the CT side, constantly backing up and feeding info for Na'Vi. But this round is a bit of a mess. Vitality are hitting, or hitting B and hitting A at the exact same time. And that split them 2-2. Two -two. Dropping the bomb on A is Boomich. He has a round that he can win, but they're coming up the vents and he doesn't realize getting baited from the man at the back of the site and the grenade should force the fight from Zai Wu. He's actually not going to commit to it, taking his sweet time. Boomich moving away to deal with a secret player. He can wrap heaven off the back of this, but now both players are in A for Vitality. Oh, Boomich gets it down to the 1v1, though. He's on three kills already. He's faked for the death cam this rotation back into heaven. Now going over here into main. Masuta still looking this way. Will shut him out of the round. It's three kills for the both of them here. Masuta able to win that one out in the 1v1. Yeah, I'm already liking what we're seeing from Boomich a lot more. I will say as well, I do think in the Road to Rio in the CIS division, it felt like maybe Na'Vi came into it a little bit like, a little bit overconfident early on. I think that's why we saw everyone, you know, like taking every fight is how it looked like this Na'Vi squad were playing. And I think, you know, then you've got like that classic case, you show up super confident. Yeah, we can beat these CIS teams. We're the best in CIS. And then you get kind of wrecked and everyone sat there like knowing that this isn't what should be happening. And yet it is. So I do think like Na'Vi are one of these teams that fare better against the better teams. And well, Apex yeah. getting out very, very fast. Full white as well, wow. and he deals with Perfecto. And this thing's site is just crumbled under the pressure of Team Vitality already. No plant though, bombs left back in lobby. That will delay things. And if anything, it allows time for Na'Vi to set up. But the big question for me is, do they want to set up? Flamey's already fallen back. Symbol's in the B bomb site. And Electronic is here in main. If he gets kills, he can set uh, Na'Vi up. But right now, kills aren't presenting themselves. And so he backs up above the garage and looks to save his rifle. Vitality up to six rounds on this T side. It's a very good T side so far. It's been it's been odd. Like last round, I'm still kind of reeling over. Like Vitality, they run B, Boomich spots them, they take B, Navi rotate B, and then Vitality push two out hut and take A. Like very very odd T side. But I like this round, a faster approach towards A. You're running into A with the Mac 10, fully flashed, getting a kill was Apex, and well, Vitality just steamroll Navi out of the round. That's the danger of not running, you know, triple A very early on. But if you're Na'Vi, you sometimes want to have less of the uh, lesser defense on that top site to allow your players to get into better positions, like, you know, pushing simple from ramp to secret so he can watch outside. Well, that leaves your heaven position open and Na'Vi suddenly have to, you know, deal with less players on the defense. So there are, uh, are certainly problems and... Right now, Vitality, they're full of solutions. 6-5 up on this T side. Na'Vi with another buy. Simple, I imagine, has the orb dropped over. But, uh, yeah, there it is.
Shox is laying down the pain over here towards outside. He's just trying to keep the attention of Na'Vi fixated here with these early smokes and mollies going down. Rest of Vitality now with Shox even joining them. Set up over here towards Ram. Flamey in this position and that nade does fantastic damage. However, Flamey isn't ready for them to be so deep and they just kind of overwhelm him. This secures a path down into the B bomb site of Vitality. I think even they're surprised at how quickly that kills come their way. They've taken B. They've already kind of overrun this round. Perfecto giving up his position here in the hut as well. Oh, no. Dogs. Ooh, he's got more ammo. But actually, it's nice. going to be Perfecto winning that one out. Shox does go down. However, it's a very, very small consolation prize for Na'Vi in this round. Yeah. It is going to be the save. As another round goes in favor of Vitality with just Na'Vi locked out of it in, in the first 20 seconds of the round. I'm not sure what happened there. Simple was in hell when Flamey was on ramp and Flamey throws a grenade and, and he's setting up for Simple. He's just baiting them in. He's not looking for fights. He wants to drop B. So he throws a nade. He fires some shots to draw their attention. He drops. Simple, I heard him scope. I saw him in hell. But then next next second I look, he's mollied off. So either he unscoped on his shot or he moved back a second early, maybe thinking they weren't going to hit ramp and they hit an excellent timing but about three seconds before they hit ramp he was scoped up so i don't know something happened there he moved away missed a shot and vitality just uh, molly him out and he has no impact into the round he, he lets him down towards b and vitality i love this pack mentality they bring that's something that they do a lot of dust too it's like you know they, they get a position and they just rush they double you their way towards that b bomb site as a five-man unit or a three-man unit however many players it is and vitality they just storm the b bomb site there's nothing navi can do about it Saiwu has had more professional aces than simple 51 to 47 in over half the rounds. That's actually kind of crazy. That's really impressive. You have to remember as well, worth noting, Zaiwu did farm MDL for some time with AAA. And I think, you know, I, I remember but even before Vitality, like how much Zaiwu would carry those games. Like, unbelievable. So. I'm sure that holds some uh, some weight there. Either way, Saibu, yes, yeah, still not orping, but not really being a problem for Vitality. These rifle rounds are working excellently, and they're up by two now with Na'Vi on another investment. This buy will break them if they don't succeed. So Simple's AWP really needs to have significant impact in this round. Nice grenade onto Shox. It's going to fall off of the yard. Vitality go back in towards the lobby. Do they want another one of these top site hits with the utility? Apex is lining something up on the roof. Vitality, they might have this heaven smoke and main smoke down for a quick A play, but notice Navi is stacked on this site. Four players here and a fifth in the yard ready to assist. Simple, he's going to have to deal with this outside play. He spots and crosses, but he falls off the boxes. That's not what he wanted as the smokes cross and cover his vision. There's nothing he can do about it. Vitality are moving through them, and Simple's got to run right back. They're chasing him down. They're moving towards main as well. Electronic cut off by the utility. Can't see a thing. Has to let Vitality take this control. So they've taken Garage, they've got outside. Now, sometimes we see teams get this control and then just feel like they get stuck. So Vitality now, now that they've got Garage, they've got to move with a bit of purpose and they're going to start to take position over here towards Hell. And Na'Vi have kind of helped them out in this one. They've left this side of the map completely open and it doesn't even look like anyone's really looking over here towards Heaven. Flamey now is doubling back and starting to come this way, but with 20 seconds left, Vitality, they've got to go. They've got to get into this site. Apex is throwing the flash to get them into Heaven, and he just skirts by Flamey as well down in Hell. This stays site looking oh. to be the object of desire, and they do get all the kills, but the bomb plant is going to come through, and it will. With a second to spare, Flamey's not able to deny it and wow. does get shut down by RPK. Vitality, they leave that one to the final possible second and they still managed to pick the round up yes i would crucial entries once again even though perfecto puts up two with a mac 10 which i don't know how he does and somehow not enough going up the vents was boomage and not really timed with flamey at all that that should have been you know something communicated by navi something in tandem but it was just separate one-on-one -on -one fights that allow rpk to isolate and take three in the round so 
Yeah, a bit of a messy rotation for Na'Vi. They've not had to deal with, you know, that, that kind of play for Vitality where they wrap the outside and take Heaven and split A. So the fact that we're, you know, 8-5 up for Vitality and every round they're showing us something new, a new way to get around on the board, a new way to make Na'Vi uncomfortable, this is a really, really good T-side from Vitality. And it's not even just like the fact of, oh, Na'Vi is sleeping or Na'Vi aren't playing well. Like, no, I think you've got to give credit to Vitality. They've had a lot of really, really good ideas. Their individuals are showing up. They're avoiding simple. Think about the amount of rounds he's had to save this AWP and not had any say into the matter. So credit where credit is due. Vitality looked very, very good on their map pick. But Na'Vi, they've put a bit of money in this one. They want to put a stop to it here and now. And Electronic, he's back in the secret, back where he belongs. Vitality, they pretty much grinded to a hole. They don't really want to feed Simple anymore, so they have slowed this round right down. Electronic, gonna get double naded down here in secret. That might be him pretty much locked out, but Boomich. Moving yet yeah, another okay. man from the tally. Mastusa falls shortly um, thereafter. And then is this gonna be a flawless force by I mean, partial buy from nah, Na'Vi? Nah, one on five. Zaiwu, let's see, man. There's a Easy. reason we hype this guy up. There's a reason we get excited when we see Zaiwu in the server. And he's hoping to show us why. Now, usually this man likes the big green. And he's got the fire serpent. So in a way, he's got the little green in this round. I drop down into this B site. Sneaky little Zaiwu. Ten seconds. And Na'Vi might think he's saving. But Zaiwu... Zaiwu never saves. Bomb now planted in a 1v5 to find for Zaiwu. Let's really take this in. Let's see how he tries to approach this one. So he's left the doors open, giving himself a bit of an escape route. There are players massing around him. Look at that mini map, right? This is terrifying if you're Zaiwu. They are coming from seemingly everywhere. Both of the players from Decon and just gets quad peaked from all the angles at once. Na'Vi, they deal with that very, very well, right? If you give Zaiwu any room to maneuver, he will use it all and then some against you. And so they come in with the quad peak. Not even Zaiwu can deal with that one. Not even Simple could deal with that one. No, that was really well played from Na'Vi. And uh, Zaiwu rather only had five bullets left after that first kill. So yeah, Na'Vi, they give away one frag, but with that, they take the round. And that was a round that Na'Vi shouldn't be winning. Not only one that they kept about $2,000 a player on, but they only had pistols, Harry. There was that awful simple. It didn't really do anything. It was just down to the CZs, the Deegs on Flamey. And Na'Vi find a sick down of nowhere. Vitality just get defaulted by these individuals. And that's why we, we know the names on Na'Vi, right? Some of the shots these guys can hit. Look at Shocks though yeah he's not gonna last long in this round it's a fast day play he wanted to try and split for the main side electronic shuts it down and perfecto on a is always a good anchor he's here with two and a third perfecto perfect hold a storming start for team vitality here in the t side of nuke they're up by one eight seven navi have a bit of a defense but right now judging by how nuke often plays vitality in a very good position navi are going to need to really step things up in this second half and heading into a fast pistol t side they're going right out the door yes indeed mr that smoke offer up the first kill and yeah this is a uh, a matchmaking smoke if i've ever seen one also a matchmaking buy look at simple yeah he's on the raid boss big fan Let's see what he can do. I like that they've entrusted him with it. Oh, well. Oh, oh. oh it's not going to happen for Simple. It might not even happen for Na'Vi. Perfecto. He was wrapping into ramp, but he's coming in on this retake. They tapped the bomb, and that made him make noise. Yeah. And they're now holding for this heaven wrap. He gets shut down. Two for RPK, two for Zaiwu, and this pistol round locked in for Vitality. Uh oh, so we has got a tech carry. That is oh, not dear. good news for Na'Vi. Yeah, so look at these shots, man. Just tap, tap, deletes. Uh, simple electronic, the arguably the best duo in Counter-Strike right now, or at least uh, off of recent history. So I'm imagining we don't see... Oh, no, okay. Zawu has just gone for an M4. I was kind of curious. What, like, if you just run that yeah, gun? Yeah, just run it's tech just nine only. Only. sadly. And if Na'Vi forced and like, put, put a decent buy here because they got a bomb plant with like, eight, a couple of AKs, it would actually be a, a bit but, of a mistake. Uh, so. If Chris J plays Deagle only, Zawu... Tech nine. I, 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 I disagree with that. I disagree with that. Deagle is far better against rifles than the Tech Nine ever will be. Like, obviously, you know, in a matchmaking game, you get a Tech Nine in the pistol round, go ahead. I would do the exact same thing. But against Na'Vi and the best player in Counter Strike, meh, I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably buy a rifle too. So, Zaiwu, 
playing things safe, Harry. Playing things as they, as they should be played here for Vitality. And dealing with the eco of Na'Vi, right? It's not a force, it's only Deegs. And they're getting made quick work of one kill at the ramp room for Boomish. He actually won't push it. He could have had a gun, he could have had an M4. Instead, he's waiting for lobby flanks. And he also might get that as well. Mizuta's pushed inside of the door, not playing too aggressively though, just waiting. And Boomish will gift him the gift of, well, $600 from the UMP. 10 rounds for Vitality. And now Na'Vi need to win their first rifle round or things could get very hairy very fast. Worth noting, someone took a glill for Simple there so he could buy an AK, uh, so he could get dropped an AK and buy a utility. So at least Simple has got the gun of his choice. So Apex went aggressive there, but Zaiwu was also with him, and Apex now falling on back. Gonna try and bait and switch with Zaiwu behind red. It's a pretty terrifying little setup to run into here at Ginavi. If the flashes go over, Zaiwu forces that engagement and does win it out. Now there's a second man on Oof. top of Silo. Boomich is gonna nade Zaiwu out of the round, so he does get that trade. Shocks in the meantime, he's getting pressured in a pretty big way here at ramp, both simple and Perfecto out in this position. And Shox is just hidden right now. But you can see Simple doesn't really look like he's fallen for this one. Oh, Shox <laughs> looking the wrong way. And Simple yeah. just one step ahead. Now, while this has gone down, Flamey has dealt with one, but does get traded. And while this has happened, the bomb is still back in lobby or over towards T-Spawn just outside of lobby. RPK was pushed in and was near that bomb, but never uncovers it, never uncovers the truth. That lies outside. And so now he's looking for fights that just aren't going to present themselves to him. They've gone back to get this bomb. 20 seconds, though, for Na'Vi. They've got to go get it planted. And this means re-clearing one of these sites. They don't have time to hit B with that ramp control they've had. So they've got to go out upper. And RPK isn't there. So they will get this bomb planted. They should find the round. Unless RPK can have any say in the matter. Yeah, you know they're ready for heaven, though. That's a pretty standard rotation position. Simple's ducking, and Perfecto is covering. So Na'Vi, no issue in the post part. They deal with a three-on-one. And yeah, I feel like, you know, obviously hindsight is there, but if you ever get lobby controls, a CT, and the, you know the T's are split, you know the T's have a lot of map control, it's always worth clearing the lobby and looking for that bomb because it so commonly just gets left outside that, that ladder position, outside T-Roof, so... Yeah, I mean, that was pretty much the only way RPK could have won the round. If you found the bomb there and defended it, Na'Vi are not going to let that happen. And they actually break the money of Vitality early on. Boomish misses the jump up silo, so he's going to be late to the party. Zawu has a glass orb and shocks with an SMG, finding a first on ramp. That's Perfecto going down. Bit of aggression there from shocks, pushing through the smoke. Vitality, a man up in another crucial round that has the economy... Really under wraps. There's that main smoke. Flamey just needs to worry about someone hiding inside of main, but that's not a factor right now. Mazut is close towards a hut. He's going to climb up above and look for this door fight. If and when Na'Vi commits, there it is. Mizuta gets one. Now, Na'Vi, what else can they do? They may as well double down into this door. Mizuta's just waiting. He's not giving them a thing, and he's dropping them one by one. Mizuta swings out wide, eventually punished. Electronic is low, though, and Simple needs to kill everybody. He started off well. He's followed up as well. Simple 180, but he's not ready for shocks pushing into the lobby. It's going to be Electronic, wall banging, unsuccessful. Has the bomb at his feet. Zywu can't spam that smoke with the AWP, but the pistol could. Electronic is a bullet away from death, and he's going to walk to it. Oh dear. Zai Wu gets that kill delivered to him on a platter. And Team Vitality answer back nice and quickly here with an 11th round. Now with only one getting picked up for Na'Vi and with three players staying alive there, the money now gets called into question here on the back of losing this round. Might just have to be a partial investment on the guys that have a bit of extra money. Tactical pause called on in for Na'Vi. We're actually going to force buy around this one, Hugo. Now, simple is enough for a glass cannon, but he does just take the AK and armor, and I like that. Yeah. 
on Seaside, Glass Cannon, man. That's such a yeah. gamble. That's such a risk. Well, especially well because as well, right? Like, the rest of the gang aren't really going to have much outside of that extra AK and Galil. And I think, like, Unarmored Orb with an AK and Galil next to it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. They'll be playing fast for this bot. Yeah, they, they want to try, try and keep the pace high. They want to try and keep the good times rolling. And while Simple, he's a big fan of a good time. However... He's gotten a little too hot and heavy out through the door. Bought down low Ooh. by the volley, and the second time around, Zywoo's Molotov is going to burn him out, so Flamey, now alone in the blink of an eye, he's lost all of his team. This looked like a great start to the round from Na'Vi, and it's quickly turned sour. Now, Flamey does get out towards ramp, and is gifted a rotation down into this B site, so a bomb plant at the bare minimum here for Na'Vi. Is he going to be able to get much more off than this, though? Flamey, a lot to do. 36 points of health to get it done with, and a Galil in hand. This is not the prettiest picture you've ever painted in a round. He tapped the bomb to try and bait the peak. Now, Flamey hasn't given anything up yet, but he didn't spot little sneaky shocks up on the ramp. And so that's going to be 12 on the board for Team Vitality. With nice. that decision to force, RV. They've set themselves up for a bit of disaster. Oh my in the god, I woo the BM man. Leave him alone. Just defuse the bomb here. There we go. RBK taps it twice. Zywoo taps it twice. Woo! Leaving it down to the wire. Obviously, I imagine Vitality are using that time to scavenge for utility, for guns, for kits, but still, you know, that's certainly, you know, isn't going to be something that Navi are happy to hear. RPK, great spray control with the SMG, right? Like, at a, at a fairly decent range from the back of the site into the hut, he converts 30 bullets into two kills. So RPK really holding down that A rush. And Na'Vi, they can't rush A again. Surely not. They can't go for another fast round out into this bomb site. They have a simple one and AK, otherwise an eco for Na'Vi. And they need to get something done here because right now, running out of rounds, running out of opportunities on this T, uh, T side, they've had one round in this entire half. That was the third, and uh, instantly reset by Vitality, and then add another to it. Saiwoo is even on the AWP as well, looking ready and raring to go. Shocks on the ramp side, he's alone. Saiwoo's outside, and here comes a push on the ramp. Shocks is going to have to fall back, but Saiwoo can assist from Hell's side. He can try and drop down if he wants, or he can just play rotate towards B. Apex ridding outside of the one man there, and now Na'Vi, they have the ramp room, but they're not exactly keen on rushing the lower bomb site. Yeah, and that's largely because they know they forced shocks down towards B, and they just got the info when they lost Electronic that Apex was rotating down as well. So they try and briefly send Flamey back into the A site. Doesn't go well for him. Shocks is going to hold Ooh. down the lower bomb site pretty much single handedly. Apex not able to help him out there. Shocks will just answer the call and lock in the round for the Vitality crew. It's just individuals looking excellent for Vitality and Na'Vi are feeling pretty lost on this T side. Like, it certainly doesn't help that Na'Vi really haven't had like proper rifle rounds. They haven't had, you know, simple orping, uh, surrounded by four AKs and the default. But, you know, you've got to make do with what you've got. And right now, you've not got a lot. 13 8 for Vitality and Na'Vi, this is it. This is their best buy yet. They need to make something happen with it. Smoke down on the molly on ramp. Shocks keeps them out of location. Na'Vi hold on to the lobby. I'd like to see them go back to a late outside play. Na'Vi, get some, get some control towards Garage, try and take a secret. But look who's there, look who's waiting, Harry. It's Zywoo. Even though Flamey does find a kill, it gets down through the vents. All right, no, okay, with this position, he can do something. Mm. Getting the frag wasn't enough on its own, but securing this forward position right in the front line on Vitality could give some results over, but bear this in mind. Boomich is the bomb back on T-Roof, and Apex has pushed the lobby. They've gone by one another. Apex could end this whole round right here, right now, if he uncovered that the bomb was here, but instead it's misinformation for Team Vitality. And so while Flamey is selling this fake, they haven't seen anything back in lobby. Electronics Ooh. just got a kill over on A. Boomich comes rotating now, down through the ladder from T-Roof, after not... <laughs> they're just roaming, man. Vitality. They're just they're just walking around the map, Harry, just holding shift and killing Navi in every location.
Yeah, definitely. Harry just went on a on a great run right there. Uh, yeah, I did. I didn't even touch the button. I don't understand this one. Harry, you love just being muted, talking into the void right now. Well, Na'Vi, they're shooting, they're shouting into the void. No kills coming their way. It's a lobby push from Vitality, dropping the bomb right as Na'Vi set up for the execute. And they can't even conduct their own plans. They're just getting the wool. Uh, well, I, don't, oh, I, I messed that saying up, but either way, we'll move past it. Two on three. Who knows what's going on at this point, Harry? I certainly don't. Na'Vi certainly don't. They're down by so many rounds, and without the control of the bomb, Vitality just holding on. Na'Vi, they've got the lower site. They've got main. They're going to group up towards the top site right now, but Vitality, they're just waiting. They know that Na'Vi can't afford to waste too much time going back for this bomb because 30 seconds on the clock, even if they get it and they try and go, hey, look at Apex, he's coming in for the back line, he's here for the win, he's here for the backstab, this man is everywhere, he's in your dreams, he's in your nightmares, and Apex, he finds 15 for Vitality, leading by example, he has looked great, Harry, it, it, you know, you can't argue that, Cywork 19 kills, Mizuta's topping the charts as well right now for Vitality, this is the Vitality that we wanted to see for some time, and they are making Na'Vi look like juniors, Another pause for Na'Vi, but look at the money and what are the chances they're going to be able to find their second T-sided round here up against Map Point. Boomich spends more time flash than any player. That's kind of crazy in the top 50 in six months. Like, wow. Okay. That's, if Boomich reads that stat, because I'm sure he doesn't know that. He probably has no idea. He reads that stat, he's like, damn. I should probably, I should probably fix that. Yeah, you know, it does feel like Boomich, especially recently, has found himself a lot as, like, the first line of defense, especially on, like, CT side. So I, I guess, like, maybe it makes sense. Like, we was we were commenting how, like, it felt like Boomich a lot recently was taking a lot of early fights. Yeah. And, and never really winning them. And it feels like, you know, we've seen Boomich fall back into this more passive style, which I'm a big fan of. Uh-oh, there's a massive gap there. Like, that is significantly bigger than a normal gap in this position. So Zywoo, he's guaranteed this kill. Oh, no. Oh, the timing on that. Apex, though, Huge. coming on in, will mop up Electronic. He gets the info that there's no one else here outside for Na'Vi. So now they know, and Vitality more than aware of what's going on in this round. Masut has taken down another Na'Vi, trying to keep the dream alive, trying to keep this map going, because this second half has been so one-sided. And Vitality are just looking for the decisive victory. Now, Shox, he's being what we call a gremlin. <laughs> he's hidden here at the box. He's given up ramp. However, this was meant to work a little better than it has. They've taken hell, and Shox has realized he's caught this timing too late. So now they come back, and they do deal with him. Boomich getting that kill. Apex will what? come in and trade. And looking for the follow-up. Oh. Apex finally getting dealt with himself. Perfecto and Simple left up in this two on three. Simple okay. digging down one, but quickly traded by Masuta. It's all on to Perfecto to keep Na'Vi in nuke. Masuta, man, he's had an excellent game. He's been a great anchor on this eight bomb site, and he's going to...